Okay, so now here's a video example of my add-ons in action. So I'm literally only going to pay attention to my add-ons this game. Um, but to give you an idea of what exactly is happening, we are against Rook, Mage. Now, my warrior gets polymorphed here, and I'm just going to zoom into this expo because it just really demonstrates how much clearer I can kind of see the buffs and my debuffs on my uh, on my warrior here because um, you know, I've enlarged them so that they're really visible and because of this it really gives me um, you know, quite a big advantage because I, I get to see exactly what's happening to my teammates you know, and exactly what kind of position they're in whether that be what they need to be dispelled um, how many dots of damage and buffs they have, which could give me an indication of how much damage they're taking and how much I have to heal them, and you know, all kind of things like that, which is vastly superior to the Blizzard uh, unit frames. You know, I can get much more vision with Expo. Okay, the next thing I want to talk about is MSBT, which is my battle combat text. Uh, as you can see here, you know, it's going crazy because I'm doing quite a lot of things. Um, the thing that I love about this add-on is it tells you exa exactly what you're dispelling, uh, which is really priceless. And the thing is, it does it with the with the spell icon as well, so you don't really have to read it. You just look at it and you know what you're dispelling. And you know, obviously, show you how much you're healing, how much damage you're doing, all stuff like that. And you can configure it, you know, an insane amount. And it basically just gives you a higher amount of awareness of the fight, which is uh, which is really great. Okay, now moving on to my E casting bar. Now, as you can see, my focus casting bar is above me, and I can see exactly what the mage is casting right now. So, right now, I know that he's putting damage into my warrior, um, you know, which is pretty standard. You need to know when the mage is casting into someone, or any other caster, in fact. You know, it's good to have that extra awareness and to know exactly what's going on. And uh, after this poly, um, the mage actually tries to uh, re-poly me. Now, it's really crucial that you you kind of know um, when polys are landing on you, so you can either line aside them, interrupt them, or uh, you know avoid them. In this case, I do a shadow of death. In a shaman's case, it would be a shock of ground. In a druid's case, it would be travel form. In a paladin's case, it would be rebuke or sacrifice or something. So you know, it's really relevant to every healer to know exactly what kind of casts are going on, whether that be a mage or a warlock or anything that can really CC you or do high amounts of burst damage. You know, it's your job as a healer to have a really good awareness of what's going on and uh, and to know exactly what to you know really kind of expect, so you can counter it with either healing or uh, or the other ways which I've just mentioned. Now the next thing I want to talk about is my interrupt bar. Um, my enemy unit frame tracker uh, slash DR um, tracker, which is of course Gladius and Interrupt Bar. Now, here as you can see, um, I have my Interrupt Bar above Gladius as I mentioned in the article, and I can see the counter spell is coming off cooldown now. So, this is where I need to fake cast, and I do, and that saves me, you know, a pretty long lockout. So doing that increases my overall healing output on the game because I, mean, I just avoided, you know, a big lockout, and uh, and that was due to having interrupt bar because I knew exactly when he's gonna have the have the counter spell. And also notice that on the uh, on the gladiator unit frames, not only does it make it easier to target and focus target the enemy team, and uh, you know track the diminishing returns such as fear and blind. Um, you can also see when their trinket is off and on cooldown, which is really great as well. So you know, Gladium basically has a million th uh, features, so it's definitely a necessity when it comes to Arena. And if you're going to download one add-on from this article, it definitely has to be Gladius. I think that's by far the most important Arena add-on out there at the moment.